Hey, Patreon, once again, guys, thank you for your support. I really appreciate it. So still in the Chargers playbook, uh, jumped into a formation, which is a single back wing slot. Uh, this is a formation uh, that you can find in a lot of uh, other playbooks. Uh, 49ers, balance, uh, balance run, bears, uh, Bengals. It's a very common formation. You can see it's pretty much um, in everything out there. Uh, we're going to look at a couple different plays in this scheme. Uh, first, the basic, uh, the base play is going to be, uh, one of the base runs is going to be the stretch alert bubble. Uh, a play that I really like a lot is the tight end spot. I love spot routes. It's just something I really, I really like a lot. Uh, you drive uh, check is, is going to be another way to be able to get, attack our opponent. Um, another play that we're going to have is going to be play action boot left. Uh, this is kind of a garbage play. Just I'm just leaving it in the scheme. Uh, but what we're going to take a look at is going to be the counter weak run. Um, and I've actually been in the lab, and I think I've, I've, I've figured out uh, a very effective way to run this uh, so you can make your, your run, you can pick out your holes a little bit quicker and make a better read of how the offensive line is going to block and how you how to optimize this counter week. So uh, power O's and, and counters are, are actually starting to become one of my favorite run plays just because I'm be able to read them correctly. So let's go ahead and jump into this. So um, uh, the, the audibles are stick, stretch, alert bubble. We're going to leave the alert bubble, the play action boot left. I'm going to leave that. Uh, but I'm going to go ahead and, and switch out some of these audibles right here, uh, which uh, you have four verticals as one of the audibles and Y stick. Now, Y stick is going to be the first one we're going to go, uh, we're going to get rid of. Uh, and I think we're going to go and swap that out for the tight end spot. And then four verticals, I'm going to swap that out for the U drive check. Uh, this is really going to be more of a running formation than anything else. Uh, and then we're going to throw in a couple of these pass schemes. But uh, let's go ahead and take a look at the base play that we're going to call the huddle. It's going to be the counter week. And I'm just going to run against random um, 43 defenses. Um, and basically with this, this run play, um, this is a stack box. I've got a bunch of defenders down in the box like this. I'd probably go ahead and jump into a stretch play like this because obviously I'm going to get better leverage and I can kick this to the outside and try to turn it up and make one play. You know, good juke move. You'll be able to go ahead and go house with that. But uh, with this counter play, um, basically we're just going to run this counter play as is. Now, the key to this figure play is I want you to go ahead and take a look at the the tackle's going to tell me where I'm going to run. All right. Occasionally, you're going to get blown up in the back in the backfield because uh, one of your players doesn't hold the block. So that's going to happen. But you know, over half of the time, you know, 60% of the time, if you follow the tackle, you're going to determine uh, where you uh, where you want to go with your with your run. So if the tackle run actually goes ahead and pulls the inside, it actually goes to the left to the inside and tries to find a, a, a linebacker at the second level of the inside. Uh, basically, I'm going to go ahead and run. To the inside, so I'm going to try to run behind that defensive tackle, behind that offensive tackle's back into the inside. If he goes to the outside or gets flat with blocking, I'm going to go ahead and try to block, uh, run underneath the pulling guard and actually run to the left. So you're going to get basically two different reads. You're either going to run, run straight up the middle and off to the right, or you're going to run off to the left and go towards the sideline. And it really depends. Now, uh, he basically blocks like that, and we're just going to go and turn it up uh, where we're going to go. So he seals, a seal blocks, and that's the direction we're going to go with it. So let me just show you an instant replay what I'm looking at with this counter. Uh, this is a, this play I ran, uh, I ran for about a good hour just to try to figure out the blocking. But you can see how he actually sealed blocks down like this. And I know I've got these two guys uh, 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 pulling, so and they're going to get up to the next level. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to run behind this guy's back. And once I run behind this guy's back, this guy's going to seal the inside uh, uh, defensive end, and he should come up and actually pick up the next level and then actually give me a nice big running line. So you can see right here, um, I'm able to go and pick up a good 10 yards and with, with a, a better stick move against that safety that could go out. So we're going to go back to this again. Watch the guy. He actually pulls up. And look at this. I've got basically no one in the area. Uh, the only thing that's going to stop me is some kind of a user coming down and crashing down with it. Now I've got a guy down in the gap. Let's see if this guy stretches out wide. Okay, so he stretches it out wide off to the left. So I'm going to show this to you in instant replay. And this is, these, these are basically my reads with this counter run and how this, be, this is probably one of the more effective runs uh, in the game. And this is just from labbing this, this run and just watching the tackle. So watch, watch this tackle. Look what he does. He doesn't shoot out in this direction. He doesn't come out, uh, you know, out here. He just gets, he kind of gets flat 
and then he, he just may, forces me to stretch. So what I'm gonna do is when I see that, I know I'm going off to the left, I'm just gonna try to get behind this guy because this guy is gonna go ahead and block for me and I'm just gonna shoot out to the sideline. I'm not gonna run it up, I'm gonna run it out to the sideline. And look, there's nobody out there. This is just a huge play where I'm picking up 20 yards with a run. So this kind of adds to this this running scheme and it's basically two different reads. You either run it up the middle based on where the, where the tackle goes, but if the tackle gets flat, you're gonna run it to the outside. Now, of course, you're gonna get block sheds. The guys are not gonna block correctly or someone's gonna shoot the gap, but this is gonna give you an idea how to run this counter and actually be more effective with it. So you've got this bread and butter play, but you, you can go ahead and throw in the stretch off the back end side. And that's just another area that you can attack. So you got your, your three-headed, you got basically a, a three-headed rushing attack in the sense that uh, the, the counter is going to determine whether you're going to run into the inside or the outside, and then you've got the stretch off to, off to the right. Um, also, too, uh, if he, if he, you've got the bubble screen, too, that you can attack. So all you're going to do is just essentially read that defender that's over um, uh, again. Um, and if he doesn't move, just go ahead and throw the bubble. Um, and now you've got a, 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 basically a pseudo run to the outside. So this is just this is a very effective running scheme that you can use against your opponent if he's not prepared for it. So let's go ahead and take a look at the passing plays. I'm not really going to focus too much on this play action boot. Uh, let's just going to take a look at uh, the tight end spot and the U drive. So tight end spot is basically the the form the play that I. I when I saw this play, I was like, oh, God, I got this is such a great play. It's a stock play. It's a quick snap play. And, and it's got all these great elements to basically this, this play will beat every single coverage in the game if you make your decisions quick enough. So first and foremost, you've got this little delayed spot route that you can throw into. So force that in there. That wasn't a good choice. Uh, let's just go ahead and try this again. All right, so... What happens with zone, a lot of times is those defenders will float up and basically you can you hit this little spot route. So uh, it's gonna, it, it will force your opponent to go and do that. Now we got these, these um, uh, two safeties coming down, so it's either man or, or zone coverage. Uh, looks like it might be zone coverage, so we're just gonna go ahead and pop it down underneath there. Uh, but <clears throat> this is a really, really good play because it's got, it's got man beaters, it's got zone beaters too. So. Uh, zone guys, guys fall up. You just go and hit that little uh, spot route, just a fast hitter right there. So we're gonna go ahead and throw this again. Um, on the back side, you've got the, you've got that little whip route, and then you've got the dig. So if it's zone coverage, so all you do is look at this guy. If the guy floats up and then comes biting down, a lot of times what's gonna happen is two, two defenders have to bite down to this whip, and it's gonna leave this dig route available for you for a big completion. And also, uh, basically, you got the levels concept uh, with uh, just the underneath route and the, and the corner route by by the uh, the tight end. So you can see that ball was right on the money. But what's cool about this particular play is that it's a quick snap play. Um, you can use this to go ahead and attack your opponent uh, deep corners and stuff like that. So I just it's just, from a structure standpoint, uh, it is a phenomenal play. I love it so much. You uh, drive uh, is. Uh, another play that we're going to use is just going to focus more of the attack going across from left to right. Uh, first read is going to be this crossing route by, by the, uh, the tight end. You've also got a nice little release if you got press coverage with U drive. So we're just going to go ahead and pop that. And you can do the levels concept, but I'm going to go with the flat route with the high consistency um, off, the, off the left hand side. So it's just going to really, really, really open things up for you. Another thing too, I noticed that this route <clears throat> gets into a little sweet part of the zone against cover two. Uh, so if you get past that that yellow guy, you actually can go and attack, have, hit this route against cover two, and a lot of cover three shells. So this is going to get into some um, uh, a really good situation too. So let's just see if we get that. Got zone cover or man coverage, um, and you can see right there. So that's another opportunity where you can hit your opponent for some big deep yards. So that's what I like about this. Uh, this particular play, this play action boot. Is really not a play I'm going to run too much. I find that the the, the, the little wing route by this full, by this guy is going to be is going to be a big hitter. You also got a deep corner uh, that you can hit. So if you really wanted to, what you could do is you could um, set it up like this. Do a little whip route. Got the corner route by this guy that you can hit uh, to, to, to populate that corner route. But uh, for the most part, uh, this is really more of a running formation. Uh, I'm gonna start off with this counter and just kind of go from there uh, and just try to, to, to beat my opponent with this counter play. So this is 
this is one of the things I just discovered with this counter play is just reading that tackle. You read that tackle, man, it's going to open things up for you for the run. Uh, he's going to have to use her. He's going to have to stop it, and then it should open up everything else for you. So once again, uh, Patreon, thank you for your support, guys. I really appreciate it. I'll be uh, rolling out more offensive and defensive schemes for you to take your game to the next level. So thank you for your support. Until next time.